Alright, so I'm a pink kitty today. Hopefully you enjoy the kitty cat. And the voice part actually works okay, hopefully. So, let's do a new story. Um, it's over here. We're looking at another story from Story Weaver. And this is called The Power of Ten. The author is Anita Roy, illustrator Johanna Mendes. It's published by Pratham Books. And it's a level two, which means that it's a little bit more complex a language. This is all from Story Weaver. Not my kitty face, of course. I'm a pink kitty today. Um, sorry, I thought it was so cute. And um, Story Weaver is an open copyright site, so it's full of stories that have plenty of read-alongs and just really it's a great place to go i'll put a link for this particular story in the description but i recommend it because it's free and it's got lots of stories so let's look at this picture to start Ooh, there's so much going on there's the moon the full moon the moon you know is a reflection of the sun that's what the full moon is, is we get to see the whole side of the moon all lit up from the sun at night. And what are these friends? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bats. And bats aren't at all scary. Not really. They live nocturnal lives, which is to say they're active at night. We've got the stars and maybe planets or shooting stars. I, I think it actually might be a satellite. Technically, we're a satellite, too. Satellite is something that orbits around. And we've got one, two foxes and one cricket, 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 cricket. All right. Ten angels dancing on top of a pin. Now this is a type of phrase that people use to count the number of angels on the top of a pin. Because that's impossible to really count. Who can say, who can say how many angels on the top of a pin, on the head of a pin. But let's count our ten one zero angels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay, ten. This is a big round push pin. Alrighty. Now, moving on. Nine pins to stitch a bright star. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Ooh, yep. <laughs> that means we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts of the star. The nine pointed star. How fun. Here's the needle and thread. Have you ever helped your adult sew? All of our clothing is made from sewing. It's amazing. Eight bright stars on a kurta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hey, doesn't this friend look like the ten? angels that we saw let's go look at the ten angels all right so they've got the long hair and the blue 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 stripey outfit seven friends dressed for a party oh goodness it looks like a fun party there's presents Oh, I think that's a present and balloons. And here's our friend with the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our friend. I think it's kind of like bacon. 
All right, sorry. Let's count up the people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven friends dressed for a party. Six, six candles on top of the cake. What do you think the party's for? Do you think it's a birthday? I think it's a birthday. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's something else? Mm, maybe not. So we'll see. We will see. All right, let's count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ding. Six is made up of one, two, one, two, one, two, three sets of two, or one, two, three, one, two, three, two sets of three. That looks like a yummy cake with lots of frosting. Five parakeets swoop down for a taste. Oh no, the birdies think the cake looks tasty too. Naughty birdies. <laughs> Being silly. Have you ever tried to sneak a taste of cake or another sweet? That is very naughty. One, two, three, four, five parakeets. Trip, 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 trip. Birds are very sweet though. And it is four, four hands clap to chase them away. See, they're trying to just startle them. They don't want to hurt the birdies, but they don't want them eating their food. That's our cake. That's not for the birdies. They might make them sick. One, two, three, four hands. All right. Oh my goodness. Three sleepy children ready for bed. One, two, three. Two bedtime stories are never enough. <gasps> One, two. And look, there's animals under the moon. One big yawn. I think it's her who's yawning. And one big moon above. All right. Well, what are we going to do now that we've counted down to one? Zero. Oh. We're only at page of nine of 19. What more can there be? Another, you know, sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> Wait. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. One moon in the dark sky. We're going to count back up. All right. I wonder what's going to be two. What do you think? Let's see. Alrighty. Boop. Two. Two fox cubs play in the woods. One, two, and there's our one moon. What does the fox say? What, 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 what? <laughs> Three. Three hoots from the old owl in the tree. Hoo. 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 Three hoots. And there's our one, two foxes and one big moon. Four bats fly out to hunt. One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't see our foxes right now, do we? Mm -mm, I don't see them. Do you? I see a cricket and the moon and our owl. The stars. How pretty. Five. Five moths flutter up to the light. Flutter is that kind of little flappy, flappy, flappy that butterflies will do too. Moths also do it. One, two, three, four, five towards the moon. Apparently, studies have shown that insects circle light, not because they're necessarily attracted, but because their little insect brains are designed that light is supposed to be above them. And so when we have bright lights at night, it confuses them because it's not the sun and the sky they're surrounding. How strange. I wonder if that's all it is. All right, six, 
six mountains reach up to the sky. Oh my goodness, so many mountains. They look like ice cream. It reminds me of the cake. One, two, three, four, five, six mountains. And our one moon. The long, windy road. Seven seas for the whales to sing to. Yep, here on Earth, we say we have seven seas. The Indian, Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, um, things like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whale song's amazing. It travels so long, and the whales, they travel very long, too. <gasps> Eight. Eight planets swirl around one star. Oh, look, our star, our nine-pointed star again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do, 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 do. I think that one's supposed to be Earth. That's exciting. Nine. Nine hundred million miles away. Planet Earth is a little blue dot. Oh my goodness, it is a little blue dot. And then ten. Ten angels dancing on the top of a pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're in a little spin. Spin, spin, spin. Just like our galaxy, maybe. Hmm? That's fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed counting with me. And my little kitty, hopefully, is cute for you and not too creepy. I don't know. <laughs> Give it a like if you like the kitty. That way I can know whether I should keep doing it or not. Otherwise, maybe I'll stop. I don't want anyone to be unhappy. Anyways, I appreciate you. And thank you so much for listening. And you have a wonderful day.